Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got an exciting update for all win later Ludashi fans. I just tested Monster Hunter World on the latest Ludashi build. Yes, Monster Hunter World. And honestly, I'm shocked. I didn't expect a huge PC title like this to run this well on a mid-range phone. But here we are. The performance improvement is insane. The gameplay is smoother than ever. And some of the biggest previous issues are finally gone. So in this video, I'll show you my experience, my settings, and how well the game actually performs on mobile. Before we jump in, hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss updates like this. Now let's get into the hunt. All right, let's talk about the actual gameplay experience. Running Monster Hunter World on Winlater Ludashi felt surprisingly stable especially for a mid-range device. The latest Ludashi optimization clearly improved CPU handling, and the frame pacing is much smoother compared to previous versions. Right from the start, the game boots faster, loads textures more consistently, and doesn't stutter as much when entering new areas. The controls are responsive, the animations stay fluid, and even large monsters don't tank the performance like before. Of course, I used lower graphics settings to stabilize the frame rate, but even with those adjustments, the game still looked surprisingly clean. The overall gameplay felt smooth enough for exploration, gathering, and even combat. Animations were consistent, and loading times were decent for a title this big. This here's our canteen. Hmm. Hey, over there. Hey, you. <laughs> I knew you pulled through. Calling for a council. Come on. Yeah. The Ludashi version of Winlater definitely shows improvements in compatibility and performance. There are still occasional dips during heavy action scenes or large environments, but nothing game breaking. And most importantly, it didn't force close during long sessions, which is a big win for mobile performance. Play some basic gear for you in that equipment box. Make sure to choose a weapon that suits you.
Want to get going? If you've been wanting to experience Monster Hunter World on Android, this is honestly the best it has ever felt. With the right tweaks, when Lata Ludashi gives mid-range users a real chance to enjoy the game. A specified number of Jaggers. We ran into some Jaggers on the way to base. The small monsters, remember? I think we saw them somewhere around here. Want to check it out? Rule number two. The commission. Up next, I'll show you the exact settings I used, so you can try the same setup on your device. Alright friends, that wraps up our Monster Hunter World test on the latest WinLater Ludashi update. For a mid-range phone, the performance was honestly impressive, especially with the optimized settings I shared. If you're planning to try this setup, feel free to copy my configuration and tweak it for your device. Be careful. The charge blade has two forms, sword and axe. I'll store up energy in a file, then release it through the axe. You can use the slinger with your weapon drawn. Look for the perfect moment, then fire. Ready your weapon before attacking. Keep in mind that what you're able to do depends on whether or not your weapon is drawn. When you're investigating or gathering items, you'll generally want to keep your weapon sheathed. You can gather honey and mix it with a potion to make mega potions. I'll mark gathering sites and monster positions on the wildlife map for you. Over here! A pack of Jagras! Those are the monsters we're after! Let's see how you hold up when you're on your own. They're on the run. Don't let them get away. Grab all the monster materials you can. You can use them at the smithy.
If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please hit that like button, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more game tests, updates, and performance tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.